Hi guys, it's Calvin with Utah Worm Company. Today I wanted to make a quick video giving you an update on our purebred red wiggler nursery. In early August, I made a video showing uh, the preparation for 4,000 cocoons and how we prepared the bedding so that those co cocoons could incubate and hopefully be successful in hatching. And uh, I wanted to show you our progress. I wanted to do this a little sooner but it's pretty impressive to watch. So I'm going to take this off here and uh, show you what's happened in the last two months. So as we take this back, you can see all the worm castings that they've come up and laid on the top. And uh, if you remember, most of this was cardboard. There was cardboard, there was some organic material, and you can see where the plastic has been. They've come up and eaten that cardboard and all the organic material. And then, of course, I've been feeding them. And so there's a couple little pieces of food left here. This was just uh, ground up produce. And we're going to lift this up and see if we can find a worm ball in there. And sure enough, there we are. And so these were those cocoons that we showed you back in August. And we placed them in here and they have been hatching like crazy. They should all pretty much be done hatching now. And so now we're watching them grow out. But there's so many in here now we've got to separate them and divide them up and put them in grow out bins and so i thought this would be a good time to give you that update and show you how successful that was so like i said i won't show you anything that uh we haven't been successful at and if you look all through here if we can dig down a little ways there's just little worms everywhere here's another piece of food right over here and i'm sure we've got a worm ball under there of worms wanting to eat and we do. And you can see anything underneath there, all that cardboard, they've turned that into worm castings. And that right there is the, the black gold of fertilizer. And so just full of microbes to help give your plants the best start possible. And so as you can see, there's just, hopefully the camera will capture that. But in every handful, there's a ton of little worms in there. And like I said, these are our purebred red wigglers, and uh, we're trying to build up our stock so that we have these for breeding. And so well, these uh, worms right here are going to make uh, a lot of different breeding bins. And so we have a lot of work ahead of us to separate them and to grow them out. And uh, once they start to, to uh, make it to sexual maturity, when they start to grow the clitellum, the band around them there, uh, that's when we know that they're ready to or they have the, the possibility of uh, producing cocoons and mating. And so we want to make sure we get them separated and organized before that starts to take place. But just wanted to show you that these were successful. We have four bins just like this, and uh, they all are just loaded with uh, purebred red wigglers. And so we also have our original breeders. And so we have multiple bins like this of our own cocoons that we've produced, and they're hatching the same way. And so... Watch that video if you're uh, interested in uh, successful hatching. Look at that video of what we do. I'm not saying it's the only way to do it. There's, there's lots of ways, but I can tell you that it is successful, and hopefully this shows you that. So anyway, if you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to reach out. You can call me at 435-650-3308, or you can go to our website at utahworms.com and, uh, and reach out to us there. Our email is provided there. And, and we're also found on Facebook and all social media, so you can reach out through messages. But if you would uh, do us a favor and like and subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, and every time we uh, make a new video or give you an update, it'll let you know so that you can see and, and go along with this journey with us. So appreciate you watching, and I uh, wanted to make sure we showed you this before we start separating them and put them in their breeding bins. So thanks for watching.